uh, we were looking for the right fit. That's what it, when, when it all when it's all said and done. When you hire a coach, it becomes who's the right fit. There's a lot of great coaches out there. We had a lot of great applicants, but you look for the one that's the right fit, and we've got the right fit. Uh, please uh, join me as we welcome Michael Smith as our uh, next women's head basketball coach. Oh, this is a, it is a great day. You know, driving over here this morning, uh, the sun was shining. Uh, I was on the phone a lot, as you can imagine, trying to talk with coaches and see what's going on and houses in the neighborhood, those type of things. But uh, I will say that uh, it is truly a great day to be a Bearcat. Um, you know, many, many years ago, I was very fortunate enough to uh, be a part of this community uh, only for, only, uh, for two years. And, uh, but it was the biggest probably two years of my coaching career. It was a part of the two years that really helped mold me as a man and helped uh, mold me as a coach. And uh, I knew someday I had the dream of, of coming back and uh, of being a part of, of such a special place. And uh, I'm very thankful uh, f uh, you know, for this opportunity. Uh, again, I'd like to thank uh, you know, Dr. J uh, you know, for, for sitting down with me and, and, and seeing my vision for this program. And obviously, uh, Coach T is who I know him as, our athletic director now, Coach uh, Churchma, who, uh, you know, a lot of people don't realize this, and I know he, do, he doesn't either, but uh, when I stepped on this campus back in, oh, I'm, I don't want to say the year, but uh, <laughs> back in 1996, I stepped on this campus in the fall, and as a part of our graduate assistantships, we had to, uh, teach a, a class it seemed like every semester and I know he doesn't remember this but I got I got chosen to uh, teach uh, coach uh, Churchman's racquetball class and I walked in and I because I'm, I'm, I'm a new guy here and don't really know anybody on the campus and first of all I say well, how do you pronounce his name <laughs> you know and they said just call him coach T and I said okay so I walk up to his office it's the end of the hall uh, here in Lampkin and I walked in and introduced myself and I said, well, I'm going to be responsible for your racquetball class. And uh, coach, I'll tell you this much, uh, you treated me like you knew me forever. And I know you don't remember that, but I talked with Lori about it a little bit. And my wife is the only, only ones that know that. Obviously, besides Coach Winstead, and I'll get to Coach Winstead in a minute. But as soon as I walked on the campus, I walked into the head football coach's office and he sat, sat me down on his couch like I was one of his players, like I was one of, the, one of his family members. And that has truly left a, a lasting impression, uh, you know, on me. So I thank you for that many, many years ago. And uh, since then, I've, that's one of the many things I've tried to take with me everywhere I've gone is that, uh, you know, to try to treat everyone with respect, treat everyone like they're, their, you're, you know, you're their best friend and find a way to help people succeed. And that's what we want to do here is we want to see these young ladies succeed. Um, I, I, I'll tell you this much we are going to work extremely hard at it. Um, I make that promise to you right now. Um, you know, another, another person that I would really truly like to uh, thank, it is someone that took a chance on me um, many, many years ago. Uh, he was a man that, that gave, gave a lot to this university. Um, you know, Coach Winstead hired me back in the fall of 1996 to be his graduate assistant, and he didn't know me from Adam. I had a chance to sit down with him, talk to him about what I wanted to do, what I wanted to become someday. And uh, he looked at me and he said, well, how would you like to be uh, our graduate assistant? And I said, well, great, what does that mean? <laughs> you know, it, uh, it was one of those things. And he went through and kind of did all that. And I said, absolutely, where, you know, where do I sign? You know, where do I, where do I sign up? So he, he did a great job, I guess you could say, of recruiting me. And, uh, you know, he spent many, many years here. And, uh, you know, I, family was big to him. It was one of the things that I, I took with me from, from my experience here was how important uh, his family was, but also how much he treated his players like family. And those of you um, and some of you in here have talked to me already about, uh, you, you know, Coach, uh, Coach, Coach Winstead and we're a part of his time here. And, and unfortunately, he's, he's no longer with us, but I know he's watching from above, so I, I owe a great deal to that, that to that wonderful man, um, and uh, uh, I'm really excited about following in, following in his footsteps 
as a part of the Northwest family here in the next women's basketball coach. Um, as I mentioned, my wife Melanie and our, and our two, two sons, uh, our youngest one, I think, uh, he's ready for the Paul sticker. On a, he's got a football helmet that's pretty bare, Coach, so we're going to have to get the Paul sticker to put on the side of it. Uh, but, and also, I would like to thank uh, you know, Truman. Uh, you know, five years ago, I had the opportunity of, of sitting down with them whenever their position was open. And uh, a lot of people that I knew, I, I know every coach in the MIAA, I've known them for years, and I called them up and I said, what do you think of Truman? And they said, you know, you're, you're considering that position? I said, absolutely. And I said, why? I said, because I know if I can go into a place and apply my system and put my stamp on it, we can be successful. And uh, so Truman took a chance on me five years ago and my, and my family. And, it was, and, you know, we had five special years there. Um, but I, I, I really plan on putting a lot more than five years here at Northwest uh, with my family. So we are very, very excited about that. Um, you know, um, obviously, I've Coach McCollum, I've been around for a few years and seen what his teams have done and admired it. Um, I, when I called him up when this position opened, I said, Coach, I'm, I'm jealous uh, of what I've seen, uh, in particular in Kansas City in Municipal Auditorium, whenever the Bearcats make it to the conference tournament. Um, got to witness it this year with these young ladies. They actually played the game before us, and the following uh, was tremendous. And that's, uh, I, I told Ben, I said, man, I want that. I want that. And I know that's what Northwest is about. And uh, so I'm excited about working alongside Coach McCollum uh, and his group and his staff. I know they're hungry. They're excited. And uh, I tell you right, uh, right now, uh, myself and my staff, when we get things put together, we'll be just as hungry. And we look forward to, uh, to, to being a part of that. So, uh, you know, we're, we're going we're gonna to play fun. I get a chance to visit with the young women in here a little, in a little while. We're going to play up and down. Um, you know, this past year we led the country in three-point percentage, and that's all three divisions we led. Um, our scoring defense was, was uh, that, you know, the, I think we only allowed like 61 or 62 points, uh, something like that. At the end of the day, I just look at wins and losses. But, uh, you know, those are the things that we do, and we are going to implement that here. Uh, so. We're gonna, we're gonna get out and we're gonna play defense man to man. We're gonna pressure. Um, we're gonna get up and down the floor. We're hoping to shoot a few threes because that's what we kind of like to do a little bit. We're gonna make it fun for everyone. Uh, you know, I've had the opportunity to come back the last five years and unfortunately it's been always on the rough side of things. Uh, uh, this, I, I, was telling, I was telling Lori the other day, I said Northwest and Emporia State are the only places in the MIAA I haven't won. And, uh, and I was joking to her and I said, now you know it's because I'm cursed sitting on the other bench. <laughs> if I'm on the other side of Bearcat Arena, you know, that may change a little bit. So uh, that's another thing too I, I was proud of this year uh, at Truman as we went undefeated at home, which had never been done before. Won 20 games, which was only the third time in school history. And uh, uh, so I, I, there's things that, that I'm definitely proud of there and it all starts with it all starts with me, I know, but it also starts with the communication that we have with our young ladies. And uh, we're going to have that, I promise you. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to do some good things here. We, wanna, we want our players to have a good experience uh, to do that. Uh, but to make, no, make no doubt about it, we're going to do things the right way here. We're going we're gonna to find quality people that want to be a part of Bearcat Nation. Um, I think it's going to be an easy sell for me personally because I've experienced it. I'm excited about going, walking into homes and being able to relate on a personal level with our prospective student athletes that we have in the, in the, in the incoming future. So, but I can tell you this much, uh, I am extremely excited, I'm very humbled to be back at Northwest and to continue this rich tradition that we've had uh, throughout the many, many years. And I look forward to visiting with all of you on a personal level, getting to know you, uh, you getting to know my family, uh, because we are extremely excited about being, uh, being back at Northwest in the Maryville community. Thank you very much.